what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys shout out to my buddy nick nick all the way from ukraine the country the 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 the, the city the area the part of the planet ukraine it's like man you guys people that it, just right before the the call here him and i were talking and we're like isn't it amazing how people from from different parts of the planet can go onto their phone today and go onto social media, whether it's a Facebook, whether it's an Instagram, whether LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube. Nick found me on YouTube. It's like we were just talking on how amazing and how unique of a time we're in where social media, we have to look at it for, for the benefits and the advantages and, and, and the fact that it's changing our world. People in other parts of the, of the world can now reach out and learn from other people on other parts of the, in other parts of the world. He's in Ukraine. I'm in the United States. I'm in California. He's out there in Ukraine. It's like, what? And, and we were just just excited and just just really just fired up on how that is now possible. How how I was telling him, my 13 year old, I have a little 13 year old son who's entrepreneurial. He's thinking of businesses. His, I have because I've been I've been brainwashing him since he was born. Right, Nick? We're entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. man. We're trying to feed our family. We're trying to build something. And that's what I end up um, um, that's the information and, 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 and the whole, um, culture I try to build around my 13 year old. So now he's 13 years old and, and he's learning from his cell phone. He's learning from YouTube. He's learning from different people on TikTok. his 13 year old brain. We have to look at this as a, as a, as a benefit, as an advantage, as a blessing. A lot of people look at social media as the negative. Yeah, of course there's gonna be negative. There's negative everywhere. I can walk down to the grocery store and there's a jerk, you know, trying to park in a space that I was trying to park in and we could fight in, in a grocery store parking lot. Negative people are anywhere and everywhere. It's not just on social media. So don't look at it that way. Don't look at it where it's, oh, I can't have my kids on it because there's nothing but crazy people. It's like, no, dude, there's crazy people at their school. There's crazy people everywhere. You know, and, and me and Nick, we're just so fired up on how we're looking at the positives of it all. YouTube, the positives of Facebook, the positives of, of, of now being able to, to evolve with technology and social media and now adapting to this new world of information. It's an information highway where people all the way in Ukraine can now find people all the way over here in the United States and learn from them, right? This is crazy. Where else in history would, would him and I be able to jump on a video call and share it with the world? On a platform called YouTube, which I have on my freaking cell phone, and I can access it almost everywhere in the world. We were just talking about maybe, yeah, there's a few places on the planet where you can't get online, you know, but but the majority of the world, man, we're on, we're on, we're on the internet, we're on, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on TikTok. And, and this is how our kids are growing up around this type of technology. And we have to look at it as, 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 as good. You know, I was telling Nick, I'm addicted to YouTube. Like I'm addicted to YouTube because I can go to YouTube at any moment of the day and I can type in any word and learn on that subject. Nick happened to type in, what did you type in, Nick? How did you even find me, man? You found me on YouTube, but what were you looking for? What are you into? What are you up to? Uh, I was uh, looking uh, thanks, thanks, David, at first <laughs> for this credit. But uh, I was looking. Um, I always in uh, church stuff and charitable and something. And I saw one video, and I expected. I I considered myself that uh, a lot of people should see it also, uh, not only me. And I thought how to target them. Uh, people on Facebook to target them to see the video of, on YouTube or uh, to create. Uh, I thought in my mind uh, how to do it, how to make this uh, ads or something like that. And I type something like that in uh, uh, Google and I found your channel. When you explained everything was so amazing, amazing and simple, you know? <laughs> and then uh, I, checked another video and another and another come on it's a huge value of that <laughs> see man and 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 that's where that's where i want to start this too because everybody can do that like you have to understand that we all have some type of knowledge we all have some type of skill like like if we're in our 30s if we're in our 40s even people in your 20s what have you been learning for the past 10 years what's that one skill it could be anything like it could be anything i happen to be over here trying to master and crack the code on Facebook advertising and just online marketing, like, right, really trying to capture leads online. 
hardcore for a long time, really all in, like all in since 2016. So I've been on this journey online, on social media, building my YouTube channel pretty much since 2017. And, and, and it was on one topic only because I was like, dude, I'm fired up about this topic. I know that I can talk a lot about this topic. Like, let me just start making videos on this topic and, 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 and maybe someone will get value. And, and that was an, that, that's not an overnight thing, right? YouTube over here, dumb over, over here, hundreds of videos later, Nick, you found me hundreds of videos later, like, right. Like while I'm still trying to learn the YouTube thing, I still don't even get the YouTube thing, but, but people like Nick are finding me. Right. And, and, and all you guys, you all have a, a, a particular skill set. You all have a certain type of knowledge. You know something. You, I don't care what it is. If you know how to clean your shoes, okay, well, shit, can you teach me how to clean my shoes? If you know how to do landscape, if you know how to cook, if you know how to bake, if you know how to sew, if you know how to design, if you know how to use Adobe Photoshop, if you know how to use Zoom, if you know how to use Kartra, if you know how to run Facebook ads, if you know how to talk to people, whatever the hell you like to do, you could talk about it on YouTube start making simple videos and eventually it'll turn into something and that's what it did for me man that's what it did for me nick it's gonna do your and, and so now nick is finding me and inspired by what the hell i've been able to do right basic mm -hmm. talk about a certain topic put it on youtube build try to build something from it now nick is is, is reaching out and saying david I got an idea. I got some 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 plans i want to do to to make some income can you teach me and that's why I was like, Nick, man, thank you so much for reaching out to me. Because anybody, you have that, that's where it starts too. You have to reach out. Whatever you guys are into, man, I appreciate that's why I appreciate every single person sub subscribing to my channel because you could have subscribed to anybody's freaking channel. Everybody's teaching mm -hmm. this type of stuff. So, so, so at the end of the day, you don't need everyone. Like, I don't need everyone. You, Nick, you're not going to need everyone. I want you to have the abundant mindset where it's like, dude, I don't care how much competition is in a certain niche. The, 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 the small percentage of people that are the, that are the Knicks, my small percentage of people that are like Nick that subscribe and really appreciate what we put out, that's all I need. And that's all you need, like Nick. So as I take you on this journey of teaching you basic stuff here, right? Facebook ads, social media marketing, right? We're going to document it for the world. That's why we're on 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 here. But, but I want you to really kind of open up, like, let me know what you're trying to do. Like, what what made you what made you start looking at my channel was it facebook ads is it something you want to start doing for businesses like how can i help you in that in that department uh, yes I, I would like to learn uh, this stuff uh, because um, i want to have uh, some continuous um, income coming each each month you know, uh, I was earlier, I told you that I was, for example, a digital uh, a graphic designer. Remember, uh, I was, uh, I, but I had hard times, you know, because I do for client one thing, for example, logo or um, image manipulation, some kind of that. And uh, client pays me, pays, uh, pays me and, and now, and then nothing. And I have to... Uh, search for another and another and you know uh, i was uh, thought about an idea how to how some continuous for example uh, some few uh, maybe um, clients uh, whom i can offer some services every day every week every month you know uh, like uh, i thought about this um, uh, facebook ads or instagram ads because uh, some businesses needs uh, the person who will do it uh, every day maybe yes is it true i mean uh, some some someone who will uh, will be able who would like to pay con over every, uh, continuously you know so what type of businesses are you thinking what type of so so let me make this straight you you it was the facebook ad side that that you're interested in running facebook yes. ads or is it or, yes. or is it social media marketing what exactly is it? is it? Is it running Facebook and Instagram ads for businesses? Yes, I would like to do it. Awesome. What type of businesses? Like, so what are you thinking? Like, what type of businesses? Uh, What's I out there know. in the train? Like, when you when you step out of your house, when you step mm -hmm. out and you go out to the to the to the neighborhood, what businesses are around there? If you if you uh, walk, you know, if you walk, a, um, you know, down the street ten minutes, what mm -hmm. what businesses are around there? What's in your area? Uh, it's mainly in my uh, closest city there is um, uh, construction very uh, high 
in demand you know mm -hmm. i mean uh, there is uh, buildings are building uh, they uh, always build and um, create the city bigger <laughs> and um, but are there small businesses are there like um a dentist maybe a, yes, a, a gym is. a local exercise yes. you know like a gym is there gym, restaurants? Yes. are there restaurants yes there is a lot of other restaurants it's very okay. popular here oh, very popular okay so you live in a bitty what what area in ukraine where are you at what what part it's a uh, western ukraine ivano frankivsk it's a so, small small town it's uh, like uh, 300 thousand people wow maybe more wow the more it's the closest and 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 back to the to the to the fact that we're now in this new world man we're now in this new digital world where all i need is a cell phone like when you listen to 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 nick's area you guys okay small town right some of you can relate i'm in a town where there's over three million people that's my my local town three million people can you imagine that like that's crazy like that's crazy um but the fact that this thing right here can have you now doing business across the pond across the world in another country this is all you need so if you're if you're if you're in an area you guys and you too nick if you're in an, a a small town and you don't feel like maybe businesses are paying in that area and the the economy might not be what it you know what it is in other places of the, of the world go somewhere else jump on this on this thing and, 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 and connect, start connecting with people on Facebook, start connecting with people on Instagram, start connecting with people on TikTok, start connect, connecting with people on YouTube that live in different places of the world that are, that are, that are teaching what you want to learn. Right. And, and, and that, that's where it's at, Nick. So what I would do if I were you, man, is yeah, one option is to go and get some businesses in your local backyard. But then the second option, which is how I did it, I just did it on the cell phone. That's why my wife and, and, and my family, I want to move. Like, I actually want to move. Like, I wish I can move. Like, I want to move. I want to move to another country. I want to move. I've been here my whole life, San Diego, right, California. It's it's a blessing, but I want to move. Because now that, that we have this, thank God for this, I could do business anywhere in the world as long as I have this and an internet connection. As long as I have the YouTube app, the Facebook app, the Instagram app. So we got to be thankful for this stuff, right? We got to be thankful and look at it where it's like, dude, I don't look at it as negative because I feed my family from it. Nick wants to feed his family from it. Many, many people, aspiring freelancers, agency owners, digital marketers, graphic designers, those of you that are out there trying to look for clients. It's like, th this is your best friend nowadays, man. This is your best friend. If it wasn't for this, Nick, you wouldn't have found me. You know, you wouldn't have found me. So, so, so would you want to get businesses in your local area or do you want to just jump on your cell phone and find businesses around the world it's totally it's, you, it's totally to, up to I you. want to go out i want to move to to talk to the businesses in other countries so so you're not interested in in just maybe going down on monday to 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 a local business and and seeing if they want services that's not in, that doesn't interest you at all I can try, but uh, you know, uh, people here uh, always think that is a kind of scam or yes. someone yes. is one yes. track trick yes. them. They are yes. not so much developed in mind that uh, someone can give, really bring the value on yes. Facebook. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that, no, you, you said it right, man. When we grow up in a small area, that was my point. That's what I was trying to explain was the fact that many people watching this video could be in a small town. And, and they're thinking that they cannot be successful because they're thinking that it's all about the small town and this is all I know. I've been here for 35 years. It's my town, but it's all I know. And, and there's not too much opportunity. The people here, they think a certain way and, and it's hard for me to feed my family. It's hard for me to, to see opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm trying to explain is that now because we have this thing, man, you could be reaching people in other parts of the world, which is just what we were talking about a few minutes ago and what makes it make it such a, a very unique time in history, right? So that's what I would do, Nick, is, is I would focus on, on one business. So what you got to do first is, 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 is think of that one business that you want to service. Like think of that one. Like you won't be able to do it right now. Maybe you need to think about it, you know, maybe the next few days, think about it. But think mm -hmm. about that one business you want to serve. That's, all you, that's what you got to do first. Do you know that one business or, you, or do you not know? That, that not, not no yet I, I thought earlier about uh, travel agencies but you know it was this 
no travel pandemic, agencies. No travel agencies. That. <laughs> I thought you were thinking real estate as well, weren't you? Real thinking? estate, yes. Okay. Very much about okay. real estate. Okay, so here's what you want to do. You want to, you want to think of one, one niche, okay? You want to think of one niche and, and really one country, okay? So maybe mm -hmm. U.S. Why don't you just, mm -hmm. Here's what I'm going to recommend. I'm going to recommend the U.S. Mm -hmm. I'm going to recommend that you get your Facebook profile picture set up. You get your, your Facebook profile. You set up a Facebook business page. And then you start requesting the niche, your niche, real estate agents. Let me share my screen. You start mm -hmm. requesting them on Facebook, just like I showed you before, right? I showed you that. Um, let me open this up real quick. So over here, you come over here and you just search real estate agents. And if I type in real estate agents, I'm coming over here to the left to people and I'm going to request all of them. Now, Right here, all I'm looking for, like I told you on our other call, is, is the name and, and the fact that that's a real person. I, I want the profile picture, and then I'm going to add friend. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to fill up 5,000 friends on Facebook with everyone in that niche. So, so, so here's, here's what you want to do now is, is, okay, so now that we know our niche, now that we know our country, that's how you search. And, 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 and you can do this on LinkedIn, you can do it on, on Instagram, you can do it on Twitter, you can do it on Facebook. That's all you would need to try to do it on. It, you don't need, and you only need one. You only need one platform, right? Just do it on one. Um, so in my case, I did it with Facebook. I filled up my whole list with nothing but my niche, that person. I'm looking for a person, a person, not a logo, not a logo. I want the person, not a company name. I want the person's name, Veronica, right? That's a real person. So, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add friend. And then um, right here, I could, I could easily add friend right here too. So that's how you want to find that niche. Whatever that niche is, you guys, you can do it. You can do it on all these platforms, add friend. And so once you find that niche, then it comes down to, okay, what do we want to service them with? Like what's, the, what's, what's that one service that we want to provide? And in your case, you're, you're thinking Facebook ads, right? Mm-hmm. Why, why Facebook ads? Uh, because it is uh, convenient, it is cheap, and uh, you can reach a lot of people and target exactly, uh, for example, a man, women, age, country, location, uh, even uh, this uh, life, uh, budget, family budget, something like that I saw. Uh, also, can I can take, for example, like comp uh, target competitors, uh, like, for example, someone has a uh, real estate, for example, lion <laughs> named lion, and he has someone, uh, another uh, competitor who has uh, named cat, for example. Yes. yes. So he can target even those people uh, who are already sort of subscribed, who are interested in that. And uh, so Amazing. it's not uh, some just um, money went in out in junk, you know. And, and the same, it's the same for Instagram. Because yes, when you run an Instagram ad, it's it's ran through the Facebook ad platform. So yes. as you're running a Facebook ad, it all you're doing is checking a box and saying, hey, put it on Instagram as well. Right? So it's the same thing. So even for Instagram. So yeah, the ability to, to target that that precise, you know, an audience or a type of person is amazing. To do it on Facebook, to do it on Instagram. So that right there is 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 a is a is a service that you could package up and offer to businesses. And then, so once you know the business, once you know the country, once you know um, the service that you wanna offer them, then, then it comes down to, yeah, connecting with all of them on social media and picking that one platform. That's, that, that's how I did it, man. That's, that's what you wanna do. So did you, did you set up your platforms yet? Did, have you set up your Facebook? Or yes, or? yes, I did. Let's take a look at it real quick. What's your- um, But. Uh, but at the moment, uh, it is not uh, really <laughs> uh, updated. Uh, yes, I needed to um, how to share my screen. I don't... Oh, yeah, go ahead and share your screen. Perfect. Uh, okay. From, uh, this is really good. Okay. Yes. And uh, I did this okay. thing, which you said. Look at you, man. Look at you. Phenomenal job, Nick. Phenomenal job, buddy. I'm very proud of you, man. That looks freaking amazing. 
Yes, that could... right there is marketable. That's my point. That's what we covered on our last video is the fact yeah. that that's a basic, basic service that you can offer small businesses. They will gladly pay you for it. Just to do that alone, a real estate agent, a, lo a, a yoga studio, a restaurant, it doesn't matter. A small business owner in the U.S., if real mm -hmm. estate agents, maybe real estate agents aren't the ones, but any other business, a, a small business, you can find them in the U.S., right? You can find them on Facebook by simply searching, just like I showed you. And mm -hmm. this right here, this one, one service alone, any of the businesses here will pay you minimum, minimum, minimum 100 USD just to do that. Just to do that. So here's what I would recommend you do. That's part of your package. The cover mm -hmm. photo, because you 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 are a designer, the yes. cover photo is part of the package. And that right there alone is what I believe you should sell people. And mm -hmm. the like ad, and the like ad, which I'm about to show you how to run right now. And the like mm -hmm. ad. So those three things, Nick, I'm giving you money right now, brother. I'm giving you money. I'm telling you exactly what to sell. I'm telling you exactly how to sell it. I'm telling you mm -hmm. how to find the person. I'm telling you the price point. I'm telling you the service that linking everything, making it look exactly like that. Everything, one name, the graphic designing, the graphic, you're going to design the cover photo for Facebook, for LinkedIn, for Twitter. And if they have a YouTube, then YouTube, most people, they don't have a YouTube. Most, most of them don't, most of them don't at all. They'll have a LinkedIn, a Twitter and a Facebook, the Facebook personal page and the Facebook business page. So LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, you're going to also do the cover photo for those three. And mm -hmm. then the third service is the like ad. Every single business page has 200 likes. Once I show you how to run this like ad, then you're going to be able to take people to 2000 likes in two days and they're going to pay you for it. They're going to pay you for it. Okay. So, so links, the like ad and the graphics that mm -hmm. right there, you can easily, 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 every small business owner over here, not just a real estate agent. So again, this, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm putting this video on YouTube for you guys is because all of you aspiring freelancers or, or, or agency owners, all of you that want to start doing business with, with, with businesses and doing these type of services for them, everybody thinks Facebook ads right away. Everybody thinks, let me go get a business and charge them $1,000 a month every month and I'm going to make them sign a six month contract and I'm going to get a credit card from them the first time I call them. That's what everybody wants. That's what everybody's thinking. Everybody's thinking, let me just go get a business and, and charge them 2000 a month. It's like, no, dude, that's not going to happen. Like you're not going to get two grand out of me right away when I don't even, when I don't even know who the hell that person is. And I don't even know their history. And I don't even know if they're successful and, and they have no reviews on their business page and they have 200 likes on their business page and none of their links are listed. Right. So it's like, man, that's what we try to do. We try to, we try to go after the high package right away when it's like, what I'm trying to teach Nick is, is the beginner package. What I've been successful at since 2016, getting hundreds of social media clients is I started them this way. I didn't do the graphic for them, but I did the links and I did the like ad because every business owner has 200 likes. When I run an ad and take their number to 2,200 likes, they get fired up and they pay me for it. And, and so the links, the like ad and the designs, you could for sure out of any business out here, get 500 USD for sure. Minimum 500 USD one time, 500 USD to go and do that. After you do that, you, you list all their links, you run a like ad and you do the graphics. After you do that, you talk to them and schedule the call with them two weeks later. Two weeks later, you get back on the on, on Zoom with them. Hey, guy. Hey, hey, John, I just wanted to cover this with you. Your links look fabulous. Your like count is now at 2,700. The design, I, I, I hope you're, you're happy with it. We did a great job on the design. Now, what we want to do is we want to start running Facebook ads to capture leads. This was just to like the like ad, to get the like count up because you had 200 likes and, and we want to get that to 2,200. So we did that. We ran the like ad, but now it's time to capture leads. Now, let me talk about what we're going to be able to do to run Facebook ads to get you a, a, a consistent amount of leads coming in every day. Here's what we charge. And now, now that person 
is already excited. They already love you because their links look good. They're at 2,900 likes. Right before you, they had 159. Now they have a, a, a beautiful professional looking cover photo, which they didn't have before. And all that for $500, 500 USD. And you go, you go get two of those a week. You go get two a week. You make a thousand USD a week, right? A thousand USD every week. You just keep it that simple. And then at the end of the month, you have eight of these clients. You have eight people who all gave you 500 each to go do a one-time thing. Now at the end of the month, the eight, you're going to have, you're going to have one to two of them take you, take your next call and become your monthly client. And that's when you're charging them a thousand a month or 1500 a month is where I'd probably start them USD, a thousand USD. Plus they pay for their Facebook advertising. So their Facebook advertising is going to be about 500 minimum, 500 a month. So there's 1500 a month, a thousand USD for you. And then 500 for the advertising and you're advertising Facebook ads, Instagram ads. That's it. No more like ad. The like ads a one-time thing. They paid you one time. You run the like ad one time. You run it for 30 days. You run it one time. But, but, but after that, we're going to start running ads for leads. And those are going to be ads every month. That's why you're going to pay me a thousand a month because I have a skill level and I'm going to really do good for you. And, and we're going to, we're going to put about, we're going to put the other 500 into ads. So your, your total would be 1500 a month, Mr. Business owner. And that's when now you have a monthly client. But again, at that point, they already love you because of what you did over here. Their pages didn't look nothing like this. Look at your, look at your page, man. Your page did not look nothing like that before you spoke to me. Now look at it. Does it, does it not stand out one name for all that looks professional, man. Yeah. Right. And I, I'm just telling you that every business that 99% of businesses don't look like that. That's what I'm telling you. Go to any business page, go to any business page, go to any business page, even the big companies go to any business page. 99% don't look like that. And that's basic. That's basic. That's basic. And, and, and then, and then, and then 99% of business pages have literally a couple hundred likes. So, so when you can come and run a Facebook like ad and take that number up by the thousands and do it fast, they pay you for it. They pay you for it. So, so you guys, I just wanted to kind of shoot this quick video. This is my buddy, Nick, out of Ukraine. He found me on YouTube. He's, he's an aspiring agency owner wanting to make money for his family and go out there and provide um, social media marketing services and Facebook advertising services to businesses. So I'm just saying how easy it is, man, and how I did it. This is how I did it. I did it from home all on my cell phone. All of my clients um, came to the direct message. All of them are across the country. That's why I told my wife, I'm like, dude, let's move. Like, let's get out of here. I could do my business wherever the heck I'm at. I can go to any country. As long as I can have my phone and my internet connection with my social media apps, then we can do business. We can feed our family from anywhere, man. That's what's so amazing the times that we're in. So Nick, he just found me on YouTube and he's like, man, I want to do that too. I want to go out there and, 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 and find out how you did it, David. I want you to teach me how you did it with these agents and, and, the, and the basic services that you started with and, and how, how you've been able to get hundreds of them. So Nick, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for, for reaching out to me. But that's what that's what I would I, I, I would I would start with is I would I would find that one niche. I would find them in that one country. I will find them on the one platform, which I did it on Facebook. I found them all on Facebook, but you can easily find them on LinkedIn. Same thing. All, all these platforms, same thing. Find that niche and then in the narrow in the package, narrow in what you're going to offer them. And so I'm just trying to lead you, Nick, because you're brand new. And so I don't want you thinking you need to go out there and charge a social media client or charge a Facebook client, charge them thousands of dollars right away. You don't have to do that because number one, you're not going to do that. You're, you're, you're not going to get a thousand dollars out of anybody right now at all, at all, at all. Like, especially when you don't know them and they've never seen you before or heard from you like at all, at all. That's what we all think. We think we need to, we need to get the big sell right away. No, you don't start them small. That's how I did it. I literally started them this way, Nick. I started them on linking everything because I go to their page. Once I connect with them on Facebook and we become friends, I go to their page. I look at their page. It's only, it's, it's right in front of my face. I look at their intro. I look at the about section. And, and that's what, what led me to even want to do this. I didn't just think of listing everything. It was just something that I started looking at as I started looking at thousands of pages. I'm like, wait a minute, everybody's missing this basic 
shit. And, and if they're going to pay me for it, that will take, so Nick, once you get really good at that, that's going to take you 30 minutes to do maybe even 20 minutes. Yes. So if you take on a new client right now, their Facebook business page, their Twitter, the LinkedIn, the Instagram and the Pinterest and the domain for you right now. If I said, okay, Nick, start. And, and, and your job is to go out there and create every platform, customize the username and, and remember the password and the login because you need to, you need to jot that down, right? Because we got to give that information to the client. But, but, but um, from start to finish, you could probably do that in 15 minutes. Yes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, man, 10 minutes. And I'm telling you right now, a business owner will pay you a minimum just for the links alone. You could sell that alone and go reach out to every single person on social media in one niche, right? Go look at their pages. None of them look like that, man. That's why over here on YouTube, I'm giving you guys a golden nugget. I'm giving you how you can go. If you're an aspiring agency owner or an aspiring freelancer and want to go get clients, I'm telling you right now what how basic this, this could be and how this stupid basic service could feed your family while you're getting better at Facebook ads. That's why I'm leading Nick down this path because Nick doesn't know Facebook ads yet. So for him to go and freaking close a client tomorrow on Facebook advertising services for 1500 a month, it ain't going to happen. Nick don't even have that skill yet. But in the meantime, he's excited and he's fired up to learn it. So in the meantime, this is a basic service that you'll start with. And, and, and businesses are going to pay you for it because none of their, none of theirs look like this, right? So once you, once you really start getting some clients on this, Nick, then in the meantime, you get better at Facebook ads. You get better at Facebook ads. And then at the end of the day, that's all you're offering is you're offering businesses Facebook advertising services. But as I was telling, as I was trying to explain earlier in the call was, was YouTube, everybody should be building a YouTube channel because everything, you don't have to be on camera. You don't have to be on camera, but if you're trying to build something, if you're trying to do something, if you're out there being active, Nick wants to do something. Nick wants to feed his family, first of all, and he's choosing marketing services Facebook advertising services, he's choosing to bring value to the small business owner, right? He's choosing that as, as a pathway. So we got to get good at it, right? We got to get good at it. And, 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 and as we get good at it, we're going we're gonna to continue to learn these skills, to continue to learn these skills. And, and this is where you want to start. This is where you want to start, man, Nick. So again, man, links, likes, and, and that design. Um, any questions on that at all? Uh, no, no questions. Just a uh, thought about... Uh, oh. Just about uh, the um, do, do I need a dot com now? You don't need it. Well, well, you yes and no, but it's no rush. <laughs> it's no rush. But speaking about the dot com, let me show you how to get it. You can easily register it now. Later, yes, it doesn't I, matter. I know how to do it, but I thought uh, on this uh, on this level, uh, uh, do I need right now uh, to to, uh, to to add here? Also, dot com. Yes, I would add it for sure. But let me show you how to do it. Here's how I would do it. I would go to go to your incognito window. Go to incognito. Uh -huh. Just click on. Uh, yes. Yeah. Go to. Yeah, the three lines in the top right, right next to the M, the green. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Go to Google.com, and in the search field. Uh -huh. So, adding the links for everyone and also even getting their .com, even though they don't have a website. They don't need a website. You don't need a website right now. But if you can own the .com and just, and just have it available, then that's good. That's good. And here's, uh -huh. here's a good way to get it for a discount. Let me show you how to get it for cheaper. Go to Google. Just go to yeah. Google.com. And then in the search, just search. Um, yeah, let's go to there. And then right here in the search, search um, cheap, C-H-E-A-P, cheap. C H E A P domain, mm -hmm. cheap domains. Perfect. And this right here, you should see an ad, an advertisement at the mm -hmm. top. Um, it should be the GoDaddy one. Yes. It yeah. Is. Yeah. So that, that, that's, is that, what's the 124? What number is that? Cause that's uh, in your dollar, right? That's in. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it's like uh, three, uh, four dollars okay. a year. Yeah. Yeah. Four dollars a year. See, so, so that right there is a good discount. That's if you would have went straight to godaddy.com on your other browser, you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see that discount. 
So, mm -hmm. so that's a good way to do it is do it this way and, and, and get the discount. But yeah, having the domain and listing it, because again, what I did, and here's, here's why I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching Nick, you know, to how to start because businesses will pay you for this. I used my profile as the example. So to answer your question, should I put the domain? Yes, because that's going to be your, your, your blueprint. That's going to be the example that when you're, when you're screen sharing, talking to these clients, you're going to show them your page. You're going to say, Hey, Mr. Business owner, look at mine. This is what mine looks like. I have the .com. I have the email. I have everything, right? Everything matching. This is what I want to do for you, Mr. Business owner. You're a real estate agent. You're branding this one name. Okay. We need to make sure. We, and that's what I tell them all the time, all the time. I say, you know what? I don't, we're not doing this just to make it look good. We're doing this to lock your name. If that's your business name, you better hope someone doesn't have it on LinkedIn. If that's your business name and that's your business name for your Facebook page, for example, that's your business page username. Let's say that's your, your name on Facebook, but someone else already owns a dot com. Mm -hmm. That's not good. That's your business name. That's what you're trying to market. And someone owns a dot com or vice versa. You own the dot com, but someone has it on Twitter. Right. It's like, no, that's why that's why I stress on the importance and why mm -hmm. they pay me for it, because it's really that important. If that's your name, make sure someone else doesn't have it. So go and customize it and set up the Pinterest, even mm -hmm. if you're not going to use Pinterest, just lock the name, you know, over here, lock the dot com. You know, yes, so, mm -hmm. so yeah, so when, when whenever you get it, you don't have to get it now, but whenever you get it, yeah, list it that way, that way, you know, it, it's there and you use that as the, as the example, but also list those on your personal page did you put them on your personal page as well uh, i put everything but dot com i did not yet register oh, yet personal and business page uh personal page to the uh, here yeah go to your facebook oh you can x out of this one x out of the incognito oh. x out of this one and just go back to um yes. to facebook yeah, your personal page. So just list all those links in the personal yeah. page. And that becomes your example, man. That becomes your 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 proof. And what and, and when you're on the on a Zoom call, you're screen sharing and you're showing them that basic step. Like, you know, um, and comparing it and saying, hey, here's mine, here's my clients, here's mm -hmm. yours. That's mm -hmm. what I always do, man. Like that's every call. It's like, hey, here's my here's mine, here's my clients, and and look at yours. Yours is all over the place. You got Twitter, but mm -hmm. it, there's an underscore one, two, three. You got Instagram, but it's your freaking son's name. You got LinkedIn. It's not even customized, right? It looks all ugly all the time. So go to your personal page. Where's your personal page? Or just Seriously. click on your name. Yeah, perfect. Right here. So X out of this one. Go to, uh, oh yeah, actually, oh, yeah. So right there in the intro. That's where you add everything in the intro. X out of the, um, X out of the, the message. So go to, um, click on about right to the top about uh, to the left ah uh, here yeah no to the very left the other side about right next uh, to your here friends here. yeah here. about sure. and then over here click on contact and basic info contact and basic mm -hmm. info so this is where you're going to add your usernames so just yes. go ahead and add a social link let's let's add these real quick yes. add a social link click click the blue one there you go. Uh -huh. And then just put in, all you're going to do is, is um, add a social link and then put in social the username, link. just the username. Yes. Uh, hmm. And then just go ahead and copy it. Yes. Actually copy it, copy it, because you're going to do it again. You're going to do it for all of them. So copy that. And then um, let's just add another one. So just go ahead and, and edit and uh -huh. then just keep, well, no, not the not the website, but just the, the social links. So let's just add more, add more, add, add, an, add a social link, add a social link, just keep adding oh, more. Okay. Uh, Twitter, I had. Perfect. So we want, we, want, we want Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and, and only YouTube if you have a custom link. Like if you have a custom link, um, YouTube, but, but what I do, because I'm building a YouTube channel, is I just have the website, my YouTube link, mm -hmm. which happens to be the same name for everything else. It's, it's inspiredenergy.tv. So, so what you want to do here also is you want to always make sure it's public. So click on the edit again and make sure it's not sure. just friends. Yeah, you want it to uh -huh. be public. So at the very, very bottom, 
and you do this for your clients. You always make sure that right there, friends, oh, okay. it's public. We always want the website public. We always want the social platforms public. We always want the intro public, you know, that's public. Mm -hmm. So, um, so now go back to your homepage, your profile, and then let's, let's look at it. Uh, oh, you know what? Real quick, real quick, go back to about, click on about again, go back to about, mm -hmm. and then let's click on, um, let's click on work and education. Uh -huh. And then go ahead and add a workplace and let's type in. Yeah, take away the self-employed. Take away or edit that one. Get out of this one. Hit cancel. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hit cancel. And then let's let's just go to the edit one or go to the other one. Self-employed. Okay. Edit this one. Yeah, edit this one. So hit the three dots and just go to edit. Yeah, edit workplace. It's workplace. Yes. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just get rid of that and type in your 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 name. Type in your name and your your business page should pull should pull down. Type in or type in the business page name. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So um, go ahead and put in put in the city, the town. Um, put in put in your um, position. Put CEO and founder in the in the position. So yeah, put in the town. Perfect. Okay. And uh, ah, position. Founder. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Founder. Perfect. And then description, you could put um, you could put social media marketing service, social media marketing, social media marketing, and Facebook advertising services for for real estate agents and small business owners. Uh, social media marketing and social media marketing and Facebook advertising. Yes, one. capital F social media marketing and Facebook advertising services for real estate agents, real estate agents and small business owners. Perfect. And then, and then I currently work here from yep. Yeah, do the year. This stuff right here is so important. You guys, you want to update all your shit, like optimize. That's what this is. This is optimizing your page. Many, many people message me, man. Many, many people message me and they message me from an account that looks like shit where everything is blank. Nothing is there. The profile picture is not even a profile picture. It's like, I don't even know who the hell is behind this platform. And, and it happens a lot to, from people around the world in different countries. But, but this is what you got to do, man. In today, today's time, for people to trust you and know that you're not a scam, update this. Like, this is important. You know, so, so go ahead and put, yeah, 2021. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and, and go ahead and make sure public, perfect. From 2021, yeah. go ahead and put the month. Put in the month. Let let let's let's um be specific we'll we'll go may perfect man perfect so now now your account looks good man so we hit save and now let's go to the to the home page let's see your home or refresh mm -hmm. the page if you need to but yeah. you should be mm -hmm. fine let's um founder and, and promise look at that man i'm telling you nick when you go look at anybody's page none of it looks like mm -hmm. that and the only reason why that's important, the only reason why there's value to that is because they're trying to build a business on social media. This is where it starts. They're all missing the basics and they'll pay you for it. You know, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm willing to bet nine out of 10, probably 10 out of 10. I'm willing to bet 10 out of 10, but I'll say nine out of 10 of people watching this video right now, their Facebook business page and their personal page doesn't look like that. And they're trying to build a business. You guys admit it, right? Like, come on, let's just keep it real. Like how many of you guys, right? Are watching this video right now and your shit don't look like that. That's value, man. Doesn't that look a little better, Nick, than how, how you had it before? Yes, right? much better. Right, much cleaner, man, and professional. And this is for business. This is a person that is normal. They don't have a business. None of this, none of this matters. But if mm -hmm. you have a business, that matters. That's social media marketing, that matters. And so that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm very proud of you. Yours looks looks great. Your business page. So now click on your link. Founder at. Click on it. Now it's a clickable link. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Businesses don't even have that. It's like, especially real estate agents. A lot of times you click on it and it's their broker's page, which is their boss. It's their broker's Facebook business page. It's not even theirs. Mm -hmm. 
right? So it's like a lot of times it's, 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 they have it set up that way. That's why when you're talking to them, you'll say, hey, Stacy, I clicked on your page and I noticed your intro, nothing's there. And then I clicked on your business page link and it took me to, to, the, to the company's website or the company's business page. Is this your Facebook business page? Oh, it's your company's business page. Well, guess what? All your friends on Facebook are clicking like on it and liking their page, the company's page when they think it's yours. And they're, and they're going to they're gonna look at it. They're like, oh my gosh, Nick, you're right. All my friends, they're liking the business, the boss's page. They need to be liking my business page. You're right. I should have my link there. You're right. So that's why, Nick, once you start showing this to people, man, they're going to be blown away and they, they pay you for it. So that's how you should do it, man. Start there. Start with, with getting all your links up, personal page, business page, run the like ad, which we'll do next. We're going to run the like ad. And then you do the graphics and you start there. Two weeks mm -hmm. later, you get them back on another call, right? You do screen share, you show them, you review. We're going to review in two weeks. So you set that call up the first time to tell you the truth. So the mm -hmm. first time you're talking to them and right when you get the credit card, right when, okay, John, so would you like me to do that for you? I charge one time 500 USD and I take Visa, MasterCard, American Express or Discover, or I take PayPal. Once they, once they pay you, what I do is they give me the credit card over the phone, over Zoom, not the phone. I don't ever do phone, mm -hmm. I do Zoom. So they give me credit card over the phone. I'm never, ever, ever showing my face. I just do voice. So that's mm -hmm. a golden nugget right there. That right there was worth the entire video that you guys are watching right now is that when I'm on my presentations, I don't go on video because I don't want any, I don't want any attention away from what I'm showing them. When I go on video, look, now you're, now you're looking at my hands. You're not even paying attention to the screen anymore, <laughs> right? You're looking at my hair now. Now yes. you're looking at my hair. Your attention is now judging me on my beard. You're now judging. You're now thinking different shit when it's not even important. We need to be focused on what I'm trying to teach them, right? So, mm -hmm. so that's why I go, I go, I go no, no camera. And sometimes they're on camera. I tell them, hey, you know what? I, I, it don't even matter. I don't have my camera on. It's going to be a voice call because all I do is I share my screen so I can visually show you what I want to help you with. Because I noticed your page was missing all of this information and it's important for your business. I, 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 um, because we're now Facebook friends, I noticed that when I clicked on your business page, it took me somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And, and I noticed that you have your email. I noticed that you have your email there. You have a website and you have an Instagram, but everything else is, but everything's mixed matched. Everything's different name. I wanted to reach out to you because I wanted to show you a few things that will really help you with your brand and help you build your business even faster on social media. That's what you're telling them, Nick. And you're doing that all through a direct message. Say, man, I'd love to give you some tips. I took a look at your page. I'd love to give you some tips. And, and here's what happens, man. Because you're messaging them on a direct message through personal Facebook, it doesn't come off like you're selling them something right away, which, that's, which, which you don't want it to come off that way. You don't want it to come off like you're selling them. You want to come off like you're genuine. Like, like you were, we're friends now. I like all your posts. I'm commenting on all your posts. I share all your posts, right? So, so now, and, and here's what happens. As you message them and they're trying to wonder who you are, that's why this over here needs to be your face. Just like you have over here, the same thing over here on this one. Do the same picture, same profile picture for both pages. That's what I would do. That's what I do do. So, so when they're looking at your direct message and then they come to your page, all this stuff stands out. Not only, not, not only are they going to come here and see everything on the personal page because we're Facebook friends. So they're going to see the personal page first. And because your business page now is now linked in the intro, they click and then they come here. And then when they come here, they're going to see 2,000 likes. 2,000 people follow this page. That's what they're going to see, 2,000. And they're like, holy shit, this guy must know his stuff. I need to talk to him. And that's when they, re they really want to pay you. You know, so, so shout out to Nick, any other questions on this, man? I truly, I truly believe those should be your starting point. And then, and then after that, you, 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 you add more value and charge them even more to run monthly Facebook ads two weeks later. Yes. Yeah. But what do I need to uh, create posts, some, some to fill um, with some information, uh, my page, this business page. Yeah. You eventually want to start putting stuff up here. Maybe, and maybe. What yeah, should I do? 
Well, in your case, again, it comes down to what niche you're going to go after. If you really know you're going to go after real estate agents, okay, well then, well then maybe start, start, maybe go to a, go to a, go to, do a Google search for real estate news, do a mm-hmm. Google search for real estate news, and maybe just start sharing some of the articles. Okay. Start reading, start reading. That way you can start get familiar with the industry. You have to educate yourself on the industry. That's what you want to do. And that's why I only I only recommend and I only encourage people to go after to go after businesses, go after businesses that they have experience in or that they that they want experience in like that's So I don't know why you're choosing real estate agents, but um, that's so, so 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 you may want to reconsider or you may want to think or you may want to really I mean, you don't need You don't need to know the answer today. But maybe think about it. You know, maybe there's a different business. Maybe there's something else that you're that you're excited mm-hmm. about. Maybe you have experience in something completely different. That's what you want to think about. Because I went after real estate agents because I came from the industry. Mm-hmm. I was actually in in the banking industry, mortgages and and financing and refinancing people's houses. That's the industry I came from six years before. So that's why it was easy for me to start talking to real estate agents because I was able to, to communicate with them and relate to them and, 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 and say words that they understood. And, and they tell me different words that I understand because we're, we were in the same industry, right? So whatever you're going after, think of that. Think of an industry that you may have experience in or, or you may have worked in before somehow, some way, or an industry that you want to learn about that you want to get good at. So if real estate, another reason why I'm in real estate with social media marketing and I go after agents is because I actually want to invest in real estate. I want to make a shitload of money so I can go buy property, right? So that that's why another reason why I'm in the industry of, of this for the marketing side, because the industry fires me up overall, right? So, right. so you want to be involved in something like that, because if, if, if you're going after an industry just, just for the money, you're going to be bored and you're not going to even be good at it. You're not even going to be good at it. You're not even going to be good at it, right? So, so if I went after dentists and started running Facebook ads for dentists, I don't know nothing about that industry, like zero. Like I know no word, no vocabulary, no verbiage. I don't know one term. I don't know anything in that industry, right? So it would be just a job to me if I was doing that. You want to go after an industry that fires you up or that you're that you want to learn about, man. You know, so that's that, man. So I just want to say thank you, Nick. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.